must distinguish between the accidental and spontaneous sight of apparitions and the faculty of seeing Indians, properly so called. The first is frequent, especially at the moment of the death of persons who have been loved or known by us, and who come to tell us that they are no longer of this world. There are numberless examples of this nature, not to speak of visions during sleep. At other times, relatives or friends who have been dead, as regards the flesh, for a longer or shorter time, appear to us, either to warn us against danger, to give us good counsel, or to ask of us a service. The service which a spirit asks is generally that something may be done which he was unable to accomplish before his death, or he may ask for the help of our prayers. The seeing of these apparitions is an isolated fact which has always an individual and personal character and does not constitute a faculty properly so called. The faculty consists in the possibility, if not permanent, at least very frequent, of seeing any spirit who comes near us, even though a perfect stranger. It is this faculty which constitutes, strictly speaking, a seeing medium. Among seeing mediums, there are some who only see spirits who are evoked and of whom they are able to give minute descriptions. They describe in detail their gestures, expression, features, costume, and even the sentiments by which they appear to be animated. There are others with whom this faculty is more general, who perceive all the spirit population around us and see spirits going and coming and performing all the acts of their routine of life.